Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting. Interesting to me. I've watched a bunch of other videos where they talk about interests. The problem is, you have people that say, they say you have amortized interest, and you have simple interest. And they're like, amortized, bad, simple, good. Truth of the matter is, I don't think they understand what amortization means. And they probably don't even know what simple interest means. So let me let me show you. You have two different kinds of interest. You have compound and you have simple. Compound interest is determined every pay period. So if you're paying once a year, then the interest is compounded every year. If you're if you're paying um, if you're making payments every month, then it's every month. Now some cases, like your credit card, they actually compound your interest daily. What that means is. We're going to go with 12% interest to make it easy because they're 12 months. In compound interest, that means every month I'm going to get charged 1 12th of the interest on whatever I still owe whoever I borrowed the money from. So if I borrowed from the bank $10,000 at 12% interest, that means month one, just the interest payment alone, I'm going to pay, uh, I'm going to pay $100. because I'm going to pay 1% interest, 12% interest, divided by 12 months, gives me 1% per month. Which is why I did it super easy, right? So you're talking $100 a month just in interest payments. Now, if you don't pay down your principal balance, the $10,000, before the next month, if you don't pay down at all, nothing, then the next month you're going to get charged another 1% interest. And that means it's going to be another $100. Because that's going to happen every month as long as you owe $10,000. So what happens is when you buy a house, instead of doing interest only payments, which is what this is, you actually have them amortize your bill saying, let's split up the $10,000 that you owe over five years or 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, usually 15 year loans, 30 year loans, 10 year loans. That's what amortization is, taking a bill and splitting it up over equal payments over the life of the loan. This would be interest only. Now on your credit card, you're going to make a payment of at least the $100 interest, and you're going to pay a little bit toward the principal. So if, if I pay another $100, if I pay $100 toward the principal and $100 toward the interest, the following month, instead of paying $100 in interest, well now... I owe $9,900 because I paid $100 toward principal. So when I get charged my 1% for this last month, now I'm going to have to pay $99 in interest. And I'm going to pay $100 toward principal. That's how your credit card works. But they do it based on a daily amount. I'm doing it really easy math for you at 1% per month based on 12% interest overall. Okay, so by the time you're done at the end of the year, this would be down to 98, then 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 93, 91, 9,000, 8,900, and 8,800. Okay, so over the year you will have paid a little bit less than 12% on the 10,000. So instead of paying $1,200 of, of interest, you actually will have paid because you paid toward your principal balance you actually will have paid somewhere around 11, we'll call it 1180 in interest, which means technically you paid 11.8% interest for that year. It's going to keep going until you pay this whole balance off. That's compound interest. That means every month. So if this takes you more than a year, you're going to pay more than that 12%. But this has been compounded, determined based on every day or every month. Some people, you can compound it once a year, that's cool. But most of them are daily or monthly. All right, let's, let's contrast that with simple interest. This is called simple interest because it is a simple concept, believe me. If we go with 12% interest again, and we borrow $10,000, $10,000 times 12% is $1,200. 
that means we now owe eleven thousand two hundred dollars from the beginning this could be day one you borrow ten thousand if you're getting charged 12 percent simple interest and you pay this off day two then you're paying eleven thousand two hundred dollars to pay it off if you get some sucker that's going to lend you money with simple interest over 30 years that means i only have to pay eleven thousand two hundred dollars over a 30 year period that is simple interest you charge interest up front and you pay it off as you go you're never compounded that interest again while you owe that money compound interest it's on a it's on a basis that you set whether it's daily or or monthly and it can be annual basis once you understand the difference between compound interest and simple interest you'll understand things like concepts where people talk about borrowing from a line of credit to pay off your mortgage that you're really just stealing from Peter to pay Paul but you're actually paying money to both at the same time for the benefit of taking that it's actually not a very good idea and in my next video I will show you uh, a couple different ways on how to pay off your mortgage faster all right so hopefully now you'll understand the difference between compound and simple interest and to understand the amortization breaking this down over a time period five years ten years whatever that's called amortization breaking down this to be to pay off the principal balance over a period of time based on equal payments that's amortization there's no such thing as amortized interest unless you're amortizing the simple interest that is attacked on to the amount that you owe. So if you have any questions, please ask me down below. Thanks. Until next time.